Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are talking about the new flare paints by Createx Colors. I'm going to roll through a couple of pictures, throw them up here on the screen so you guys can see what these kind of look like. And then I'll have some more pretty pictures in the back if you want to roll towards the back of the video and just ignore the setup for spraying. Otherwise, I'm going to have a little instruction on how I mix these and how I spray these and what I sprayed them on. Full disclaimer, Createx did not pay me anything for this video, but they did, however, send me these pigments for free. They also sent me all of these, and these are the, all of the new paints. You'll notice that the Wicked colors now come in four ounce bottles and a bunch of new illustration colors, but that's not today's video, and I will get more into that in the next coming week. All right, so it is very, very, very important that you mix these up really, really well. I actually put a stir stick in this and then ran it through with my Vortex mixer. You want to make sure that you get your pearls oriented throughout. As you notice, I mixed this a while ago, and as you can tell, it's already settling to the bottom. I, I did this about an hour ago. You wanna make sure those pearls are completely oriented in it. Believe it or not, this color is lemon lime, and it's going to look this color before you spray it. You see how much of a difference that is after I started stirring it up? See how you'll see them pearls in there? It is in vital, absolutely vital that you get these pearls well dispersed throughout the bottle. I'm going to mix up a small amount of this one. And so what I did when I mixed these up, I added approximately 5%, 5 to 10% UVLS just to give a little extra adhesion. And before I was taking the top off, I've already mixed this. This is an extra batch. And then I'm going to add just enough reducer that it drips, not falls off my stick. It will be important when you mix these to mix them and then let them set. And I'm sure if you watch Createx Colors Tech videos, you've heard this all the time. It is going to be very critical to let these set after you mix them and do not get in a hurry to spray them. My just a little bit looser than that is what I found best. So I'm gonna just touch more reducer. Of course, if I was using a spray gun, I would not put any reducer in it probably. But since I'm running this from a 0.5 airbrush, fan cap airbrush, I'm going to reduce just enough where it's dripping off of my stick, not drizzling. The only prep work I'm doing to these speed shapes, I'm spraying them down with spray away glass cleaner. Biggest secret in the custom automotive world. It's great for moving fingerprints and things like that. I should probably sand this down. However, I have extreme faith that the Createx UVLS and the Wicked paints will stick to this plastic without sanding it down. Although you really should prep things out. On these speed shapes, I'm using my GSI Creos PS290 fan pattern airbrush to spray these shapes. This color here is blue violet and I am spraying this fairly wet. Sticking pretty well. I would suggest that if you're not used to spraying these that you back up with it, run a little extra air and a little less fluid and just use more coats. I'm going to roll up a little footage of these as they are before I clear coat them so you can see what they look like in a satin finish. Speaking of satin finish, I got a couple of these speed shapes that have not been cleared because I walked in to find my wife grabbing these like this as they were freshly painted and then managed to drop one on the floor. So I sprayed them again and clear coated those because don't put your greasy fingerprints on your stuff before you're going to paint clear coat. Ran outside, clear coated this in the dark, as you can see in this footage here, and clear coated this with Car Rep spray paint. And Car Rep is a 2K clear in a can, and I'll have more information about that for you guys in the future as well. You're gonna ask, do they spray well in an airbrush? Yes, they spray perfectly fine in an airbrush. Well, how do they spray? They spray like a pearl. So you're not gonna put them in a 0.2 airbrush and expect to be spraying these in details. They're not designed for that. So they're gonna spray like pearls. A 0.5 I would recommend for an airbrush. I have actually sprayed them on some spoon test spots with my 0.35 water eclipse and it worked out okay. All right guys, I know you're getting bored and you wanna see the pretty pictures, so let's roll through that stuff. Oh 
almost forgot. I will drop you some links on where you could actually buy these things. All right, guys, tell me what you think about these colors you saw today. And if you are interested in getting these colors sprayed on different color base coats, let me know down in the comments below. We may get into that if there's enough interest in it. Anyway, I'm Bill Kennedy with the Airspace, and we appreciate you coming by. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can get notified of future videos. Y'all have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.